Well, Hobart's Mona has lodged an appeal with the Supreme Court of Tasmania challenging an anti-discrimination decision that ordered the museum to allow men to be able to go into its ladies' lounge exhibit. Artist and curator Keisha Keshela is the brains behind Mona's ladies' lounge and she joins us now from Hobart. Good morning to you. We have been following this story every step of the way because it has been fascinating. You are not letting go yet, are you? You have decided to appeal. On what grounds? Well, um, it, seemed, it seems important to appeal. I think we need to take this conversation further. It doesn't seem right that the ladies' lounge has to close. I think that, um, I think that the court took too narrow a reading of the Anti-Discrimination Act and that, in fact, if you assess the act, we already meet some of the exemptions and very small changes would allow us to meet all of them. I also, I just think it's an important time. We, we are not closing the ladies' lounge. And I see coffee being delivered for you and that's part of the thing with the lounge, isn't it? That it, it, the whole thing is part of an art display that only women are allowed in. They're allowed to see this beautiful artwork and then it's men who are the butlers. Um, what? Absolutely. Yeah. And, and so how are you going to get around it, though? What, what ideas have you got? Well, first of all, the appeal. So that will be a serious endeavor. That'll be an actual exercising of the law, um, an investigation by some very smart minds into how the Anti-Discrimination Act should be read. And, um, you know, worst case with the appeal, if we lose, um, I think that it provides an opportunity to reassess the writing of that law, the legislation itself, because I definitely believe that spaces like this where women can get away from men are critical, especially right now. Keisha, I feel um, but like... really in the context of millions of years, thousands of years. Yeah. Keisha, it's almost like the court case itself has become part of an art installation in a way. Is that, is that how you're seeing it? Absolutely. The, the court case is part of the art. And what is amazing when you read the judge's verdict, his ruling is a work of art. It's extraordinary. It's literary. It has flourish, alliteration, not quite Shakespearean, but really on the verge. And so I highly recommend that everyone read the ruling. Um, and I'm honored that the judge is collaborating in the work. Huh. I'm just watching the pictures of you all turning up at the uh, court hearing um, the Robert Palmer music, the, the whole thing. Just at the moment, if people wanted to see Ladies' Lounge, is it open or have you actually had to shut the doors while the appeal goes forward? Unfortunately, we had to close yesterday. Uh, we reached the end of this 28-day painful period um, the court required that we went through this 28-day cycle. We've come to the end of it, and we have to close because um, we'll have to appeal and, at the same time, uh, address all of these options for exemptions. And so we'll be closed while we reform. That was the word um, used in the ruling, that the ladies' lounge needs to reform. We'll be addressing that with a number of reforms in order to meet all of the exemptions, one through G of the Anti-Discrimination Act, Section 27.